now we have our last pitch of the afternoon from Brain Plus, Ulrich. Very good luck. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Hi, guys. Great to see you all. I am uh, Ulrich Eriksson, the co-founder and COO of a company called Brain Plus, dedicated to provide effective and motivating brain training tool for a fit and healthy brain throughout life. It basically started our journey are the remarkable scientific discoveries of how the brain can change and uh, repair and improve itself throughout life, really, and uh, especially with particular and efficient computer-based interventions and methods. So these are the ones that we dig into and try to deliver for different, uh, both healthy and clinical uh, applications. It has uh, spurred a fast take up in, uh, in demand and desire among healthy individuals to improve and protect brain abilities throughout life. Abilities like uh, mem remembering things, keeping attention, solving problems, uh, remember your, the names of your kids, etc. Also prevent rate of mental decline or prevent uh, mental diseases like dementia. There's also a massive uh, unmet need in clinical B2B segments. Some of the big, big uh, groups here are uh, severe stress, depression, dementia, brain injury, uh, who all suffer actually damages that give functional implications and emotional implications and uh, diminishes quality of life. Um, we're getting very good at treating physical implications of these injuries but there are not really any good tools for uh, rehabilitation of higher cognitive functions. We get the same feedback from uh, clinical institutions, rehabilitation centers and hospitals, and we're working with a number of them that you see on the right side that basically confirm that there's a strong need for uh, tools to rehabilitate higher cognitive functions. The, there is a proven market in the B2C private segment, but there's actually very little done in the clinical sphere. Uh, some of the, the guys like Lumos, T, Elevate, Peak, Memorado, you probably know. Um, they all have some of the same challenges because they do more or less the same. They apply test paradigms for training purposes, which are not really uh, efficient and uh, they have a hard time proving, proving that. And then they are not really motivating, which is also for us uh, an important part of the metric. What we did was to uh, set out to fill that gap with a marriage between solid scientific foundation and gamification. And we launched our first app in July 2014. Um, we got a little over a million uh, users um, in a little over a year. We selected as best new app in more than 150 markets. Uh, got average ratings of 4.5 and uh, basically covered in more than 500 e articles worldwide. The last year and a half, we haven't really done more about that uh, first minimum viable product. We, uh, we raised some money and we spent that developing a brand new uh, product from scratch, but still uh, keeping a lot of the principles in, in, uh, in shape. So we developed uh, a powerful fitness center for the brain with a virtual brain coach and real life exercises to deliver this to both healthy people and hopefully also soon clinical purposes. It's basically uh, presenting an unmatched uh, tra training methodology that will set a radically new standard for effectiveness in the market due to three things. It's based on uh, scientifically validated paradigms uh, that are superior to competitors. It has a unique multi-parameter uh, training methodology that at the same time adjusts five to ten parameters, whereas competitors only challenge maybe one parameter. And we got a unique machine learning algorithm that uh, constantly test user abilities and adjust difficulties uh, to the right level. And uh, it's not launched yet, but you can find it in the App Store on uh, iOS so far. Um, but we already sold 15,000 subscriptions, years of subscriptions in the B2B pre-order sales. Let, let, let me give you a little flavor of the product. Brain training. Play lots of fun games designed to challenge your brain. Read all about the science behind each game before you play. Meet your brain coach. 
40 plus audio lessons that teach you powerful mental techniques and build healthy brain and lifestyle habits with over 150 real life exercises. Discover your brain profile. How do you score and compare to other brain trainers? Join 1 million other users and start your brain training today. Okay, so this was a little flavor of how it looks to uh, private consumers, and uh, it will probably look a little bit different for other clinical purposes. So what about the effects? Evolution builds on uh, scientifically validated uh, methods um, that have some of the effects you can see here. Visual perception speed improvements of 146%, working memory improvement of 62%, problem solving improvements of 48%, uh, rate of mental decline reduced by as much as 32%, and also impacts on reduction of risk of Alzheimer's. Okay, but Ulrich, right, that's all very good. Uh, you're talking about numbers, uh, but what's really the value to regular uh, people and especially clinical segments? Let me just quickly tell you a little story um, of something I experienced two weeks ago. Uh, one of the leading neuroscientists called me up and said, Ulrich, you got to hear this. Um, I got this uh, brain injured patient. She's uh, 32 years old. She drowned in, in the harbor, um, was gone for 20 minutes uh, before she was brought back to life with severe brain injuries. She couldn't speak, she had problems with memory, and uh, was very aggressive towards her environment. She went into uh, clinical rehabilitation, one of the best in Denmark, but they eventually actually had to give up on her without improvement of her language. She was still not speaking, she was very aggressive. Um, a, a leading neuroscientist in Denmark got her as a special case, that's what she does. And um, she called me up and she's, after a week, no, she uh, recommended evolution for that patient. And uh, after a week, the mom called her up and said, uh, you got to hear this. It's amazing. It's a mi little miracle. Uh, my daughter, <clears throat> uh, my daughter started speaking. So uh, this was after a week. And uh, she was improving day by day. And uh, after 50 days, her uh, aggressive uh, state had uh, diminished. So uh, the parents were actually uh, feeling safe enough to get her back home. Uh, and that's really why we go to work every day to get these results. And hopefully, we can get this into the clinic soon. All right, thank you very much. And thank you for ending on such a poignant story there. Um, over to the panel now to ask you some questions. Oh, sure. Yeah, of course. That's it. Um, no, that's, it's great. You've been around for four years, is it? Yeah. And when you say you differentiate yourself from the clutter, what is making your games fun? Let's give it, you know, let's say the science works great. Now, how do uh, you, is uh, it we, the... We think actually the, the fun part is part of the, the magic formula. One thing is that you build stuff on scientifically solid paradigms. Sure. The other thing is that you have to have uh, people actually training at a certain sequence, uh, and also coming back and stay with it for months, maybe years, to get the effects. Um, and you have to have them engaged, focused, aroused, to really have a maximum impact. And, uh, and that's what we think gamification can so do. I, I guess my question is, do you have game developers in your company? Do yes. you outsource it? Yes. No, we have uh, game developers. We have uh, some right. of the best game developers in the world who've right. done uh, stuff like uh, Hitman, Crytek, uh, Crisis Rise, maybe you know these uh, AAA series. So what we did, maybe you could see it, but it's a, it's a known runners game set up for our working memory uh, training, which, uh, you know, maybe Subway Surface actually got 800 million uh, downloads, and people stick with it uh, tremendously. And uh, try this on your kids, and uh, they'll love it. <laughs> so what's going to stop you from becoming the number one app? Is there, what's your biggest hurdle right now? There's so many people, right? Like you just, and Lumosity just got fined a couple of million yeah. for marketing it wrongly. So what's your take on this? I think a, a, a significant differentiator here is going to be the focus and the, the general awareness of effect. And Lumosity is struggling to uh, prove effects, whereas we have uh, very, very uh, good scientific studies showing uh, improvements. For instance, uh, doubling of a reading pace on a standard reading test um, for people 68 to 80 years old with just uh, six weeks of training. 
and 42 percent improvement of working memory capacity on a standard digit span test. How um, are you mon monetizing this? So it, I download the app for free, and then I pay maybe, for maybe exercise. For free, maybe I, not, yeah. Sorry? Maybe for free and maybe not. Oh, so you um, don't know the pricing we, model yet and how you're going to place this? Yeah, we are testing it. This product is not launched. Uh, if you find it, it's uh, still a prototype. Um, but, but we have subscriptions, and then uh, microtransactions will be added. And for clinical purposes, it will be lump agreements. So last question. Which company would you want to be associated? Would you want a Fitbit to take you, a Facebook, or an Apple? If eventually you are looking for partners, uh, we we go for a high quality impact, I would say, and not the the. So like none consumer. of the consumer technology. I, I like Apple. And you like Apple. <laughs> that would be a, a good association. I think they have a, a strong uh, product. Yeah. All right. Time, time is up. I'm afraid from the panel, time is up. Um, Ulrich, thank you very much. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you, guys. Looking forward to meeting you. <laughs>